What's up, everybody, and welcome back to your art class. It's me, Mr. Mingoni, and we're going to continue what we started last week. So last week, we started by doing a little bit of what we call world building, okay? And you started designing your own city. You kind of made a map of your city, and we talked about the different elements that go into a city. And what we're going to do is we're just going to keep making that more and more complex and building up that world. It's a really fun imagination exercise. And it's a good way to kind of look at art from all these different perspectives. You know, last week we made a map. That's a totally different type of art. This week what we're going to be doing, you're going to be drawing out the skyline of your city. Okay, so a skyline, if you look at these pictures, here's an example of a skyline here. It kind of shows the buildings against the sky and gives you a little taste of the city. Um, so, and it, you can show some landmarks in there, like this one. You can see there's a little globe landmark on the front. Whenever I move my cursor, it covers it up. But here, there's like a little globe thing. That's probably one of the city's landmarks. You're kind of going to want to show off as much of your city and the kind of the flavor of your city, the style of your city, as much as you can with this skyline. We also see some student examples over here. So you can see... Up here, we've got a really nicely drawn, kind of very neat skyline. They use a lot of like uh, vertical and horizontal lines to create the effect of windows. So that's a good idea if you look at the side of each building. You know, you don't have to draw a little square for each window. You can do lots of lines like that and kind of crisscross some lines. Or this one has like diagonal lines. Do creative things with the lines and texture to create that window effect. That's probably a good idea. This one down here, totally different style, and it's great in its own way. That's what's cool about our art. It's, we've all got our own style and they all look different. Nothing wrong with that. It's actually very beautiful. So I like this one. I like that there's a little road kind of suspended up like a bridge because we did talk about the pathways in, this, in your city. Maybe you're going to want to include some of that information in this picture. This city has, has raised pathways and there's buildings that go in front and behind. So we're our, our learning targets here are draw a skyline of your city, include some landmarks and buildings from your map, and then add as much detail as you can. Aside from that, you do it your way. Okay, so I'm going to make my picture a little bigger and start working on mine. Uh, you can start working now if you want. Uh, you can draw with me. You can wait till I'm done and draw. It's completely up to you. Let me flip this here. Okay. So, here we can see my city skyline. Oh, no, it's not my skyline yet. This is my city map. And this is what we did last week. This is Pinwheel City, and I've got some pinwheel landmarks. I've zoned out different areas, like this blue is the shopping area. This is a landmark in the middle. Um, you know, just different, you know, residential areas. So I'm gonna wanna have my map handy and be thinking about things I can add to the skyline from the map. So here's this. A quick little thing to show you here. Check this picture out. This is a picture that I made during our art hangout on Wednesday. That was really fun. I had a couple of students there. We were making art together, sharing art, just kind of having fun, looking at cool videos, and it was awesome. Uh, I hope some more of you join next time. I'm gonna do it again this coming Wednesday. It's going to be at from 3 o'clock to 3.30. So come on by. You don't have to, but it's a fun thing to do. And all you got to do is join the Google Classroom. I'm going to put the code in the description to this video. You just put that in Google Classroom, you join up, and that's where I will post the links in the times. Anyway, on the back of this, since I like to save paper, this is where I'm going to put my skyline. And I'm going to start with, I'm going to kind of draw this central area. Right, so it's gonna show this landmark in the middle, some business buildings, some shopping buildings, and probably some pinwheels in the background, or some, sorry. Yeah, there's the pinwheel, pinwheel monuments, but my city also has wind turbines, or windmills, right? It's wind powered. So I'm gonna show some of the windmills around the outside of the city as well. So where to even start? Well. Just remember, you are making this up as you go, so feel free to just make stuff up. I'm gonna say some of those business buildings in the center are what I'm gonna start with. And 
I'm gonna kind of layer them so that it looks like they're going back. Watch how I do that. I'm gonna start with just some shapes and just get creative with how you shape your buildings. They don't all have to be tall rectangles, right? So there's one that's shaped like that. Maybe I'll have one that's like this. And you can look at pictures of buildings too. Like go ahead and go into Google and type out like city skyline and see what you come up with. So I'm gonna start with just four buildings in the front. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna layer some buildings behind them. All right, so I drew my four buildings in the foreground and I'll put some behind. Like say I wanna draw a building here. The way I draw it behind is I just kind of start here. And then when I hit the top of the other building, see that I just stop and it looks like it's going behind. See how easy that is? This is one building here. I'm adding some really cool shapes to it. There we go. See how it go looks like it's going behind this building, right? So that's just gonna give it depth. And then I had a landmark in the middle. You see this part? So I'm drawing these business buildings and I'm gonna draw the landmark in the middle, which is a big pinwheel because it's called Pinwheel City. So this is like kind of the main one here. Definitely try to include at least one landmark in your skyline. That's the pinwheel. I'm just adding some decorations, why not? Okay, so that's our biggest landmark. And I'm gonna add some more buildings going behind. Just kind of making up the shapes as I go. Just having fun with it. And I can even do a few more behind there if I want to. Just keep adding those layers. There we go. That's a pretty good city skyline. Maybe I could add one here. Just look for open spaces. That's pretty good. Looks like a lot of buildings. And that's cool. If you want to, you can put a road at the bottom. You don't have to, it's totally up to you um, how you are going to design this picture. Some of them just have kind of the buildings going up. Some of them show the roads or the sidewalks. Totally your call on that one. And I think I'll draw a horizon line in the back. This is just kind of like, if you're looking really far out, what you're gonna see. And I can show my road that goes around the outside. I can show the road that comes in. And I'm just gonna do like little things like this. I don't want to feel like drawing a million little houses, but I'm gonna give kind of the impression that, yeah, there's a bunch of houses over here. And they're just in the background. So I'm just drawing them lightly and just kind of barely, not a lot of detail. You know, it would be hard to see anyway. So making them look like they're very far away and there's just a whole lot of houses back there. And of course, around the outside, I have actual windmills which power the city. And that's why it's called Pinwheel City because it's surrounded by these windmills. They look like big old pinwheels going in the wind. That's pretty cool. All right. And then I just get to add details to the buildings and I can think about what the buildings are for what do they need? How do they look? Stuff like that. You can add signs. You know, maybe I'll add a billboard here. It's just gonna say, Be Cool. Sponsored by the Pinwheel City Ad Council and the Department of Coolness. Be Cool. This will be the City Hall. So I'll just add all kind of random decorations onto here. Don't You don't even have to think too much about decorations. Just add cool stuff. Maybe you want to add some little pillars that go down the side. Add a bunch of windows. 
See how I'm just doing like a little grid? I don't necessarily have to draw out every window. And maybe a big grand entrance way. Pinwheel City Hall, right there. Oh, and it should have the Pinwheel City flag, which I have totally know what that flag looks like, of course. No, I'm just kidding. I haven't even thought about a flag yet. I'm just going to make it up. That's the flag, just like that. Cool. Be cool. All right, now let's think of some other, you know, this is these are businesses. So, um, you know, they're gonna be like, maybe this one is kind of just offices. Kind of a boring building, but that's okay. You can have some boring ones. Gonna have lots of doors. There's lots of people coming and going in this one. And I'll come up with a name for it too. Pin Corp. Pinwheel Corporation. That's fun. And then this one will be Rec Center. people can have somewhere to go play. I'm just gonna have some big windows up here so that people can like see, have some sunlight into the basketball courts. Lots of doors and a little overhang so lots of kids can come play. You can even put some basketball hoops outside, stuff like that, maybe a hockey net. People playing roller hockey out there, it's fun. Okay, I got a little rec center. So I'm just adding more and more and more details. That's all this one's really about. You can color it if you want. You don't have to color it. I don't think I'm going to color mine. I think it's just going to be a pencil drawing. It's more about the, the physical details. So I'm going to turn my mic off for a little bit and just draw and draw. And you keep drawing with me. And I'll check back in in a few minutes.
So what I'm doing now is, uh, hang on, I got to make sure my mic is correct. Here we go, okay. What I'm doing now is I'm gonna just outline the main buildings so that you can just tell them apart because we got a lot going on in this picture. So if I just put a little line like that around, just around the outside edge of each building, it's gonna help you to see each one. I'm not gonna outline every single little detail just the outside edge and we've got about you know five minutes left so I'm kind of just thinking what kind of final details can I add what kind of finishing touches if you want to keep on working on this hey go for it be my guest you work on this as long as you want pen isn't really doing it for me. I think I'm going to go get a marker. Hopefully this marker will work out. Yeah, a bit of a thicker line, that'll be okay. Yeah, that works for me. Yeah, just a few minutes left. Remember, feel free to join the art hangout, it was really fun. I would really love to see more students in there. It was good to just be able to see some students and hang out, chat about video games and art or whatever you got going on. Also really cool because the students that were there, they had had their sketchbooks. So I got to see their little drawing books and they got to share all the different things they were working on. So it's really cool to be able to see each other's art like that. Uh, so you should do it. Join the art hangout. Just once again, that code is in the description to this video. And you just put that code in Google Classroom. And from there, you will be able to see the invites to the Art Hangout. And it's going to be on Wednesday from 3 o'clock to 3.30. So join that Google Classroom and you'll see everything you need to see from there. Hopefully I'll see you there. Yeah, this is looking nice with the outlines. It's pretty cool. You can kind of tell what's going on a little more. This could probably use some color too. If I had a little more time to spend on it, I'm gonna add some color. It'd probably be a good idea. Very nice, I'm happy with it. So there's my city skyline from Pinwheel City. That's pretty fun. So I've got a map, and now I've got a little view of what the city looks like. And next week, we're gonna dive into the culture of your city. We're gonna start drawing like the fashion that people wear, the food that they eat, the things that they do. We're gonna get into all those fun little details. And that's when your city's really gonna feel like it's coming alive. All right, and then it's yours to do whatever you want with. Maybe you want to write stories that take place in your city. Maybe you want to make a comic that takes place in your city. Maybe you just want to draw lots of pictures of your city. I don't know. From there on, it's your imagination that can take you wherever you want. Because this project is all about imagination. All right, well, I love you all. It's been great. It's been a lot of fun to just kind of chill out and make some drawings with you. 
join that Google Classroom so you can do the art hangouts with us. And hey, I'll talk to you next week. Take care, everybody, and be cool.